billionaire snake Oprah Winfrey reveals that she uses weight loss medication as a maintenance tool. I'm absolutely done with the shaming. Well, yeah, but Oprah, are you done with the lying? Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. Now, let me say this positively about Oprah. We should leave her alone for her looks. I don't care what she weighs. I don't want to know about her diet. That's none of my business. That's not why we should be attacking Oprah. It's below the belt. It's not nice. It's disrespectful. No, no, no. I want to attack Oprah for her not always being honest, for her being a snake, for the things that she's done regarding that. And if you're a long-term uh, long viewer of the channel, you'll know we've taken some shots at Oprah. We're not afraid. Most recently about the uh, Maui wildfires that she was grifting off of. It was disturbing. But you can go way back and learn about her connections to Harvey Weinstein, where we exposed her in that video, as well as the one I did. I'd implore you to check out the one I did to Britney, but I think it's to everybody. Don't trust Oprah. What she's done to the Michael Jackson family is deplorable. I've talked about that as well. Uh, I'm one of the staunch, most vocal supporters of Michael. Everybody's afraid to defend Michael. I am not. I've done the homework. To those of you who say, Andy, be careful. I would say, do your homework. In fact, stay tuned and hit that subscribe because we are going to get more into that uh, to, to help you guys understand more of the truth. So hit the bell, hit the button, smash the like button. There's a lot more coming and a lot about Oprah that I will keep uncovering. And this is one I wanted to talk about because she's out there doing all this positive press. And, and look, again, I don't care her dieting. I care when she lies, when she's not being genuine and honest. That's when I when I care when I like when she completely threw out that Leaving Neverland documentary she supported, which was full of lies and nonsense after already being such a supporter of Michael's family. Anyway, I digress. Now she's out there saying she does use weight loss medication. It's a maintenance tool. And I'm absolutely done with the shaming. The fact that there's a medically approved prescription for managing weight and staying healthier in my lifetime feels like a relief, like redemption, like a gift that this billionaire finally has doctors that could give her stuff. It was public sport to make fun of me for 25 years in this week's cover story. I've been blamed and shamed and blamed and shamed. Uh, and she talks about all these hurtful moments of how she was lump called lumpy, dumpy. And uh, look, none of that is, is right. I don't, didn't feel like I felt sad. I felt hurt. I swallowed the shame. I accepted that that was my fault. Look, she's looking great. Good for her. Uh, she turns 70 next week. Again, looks fantastic for set for 69 turning 70. Uh, but she's optimistic. She's now has a better hand on how to maintain her health. And she's sharing all this. Now, again, she talks about her weight fluctuations and all this stuff. Yada, yada. But the biggest reveal was that she finally admitted that, you know, she's using these uh, medications. But it's important to talk about how she's revealing this. I eat my last meal at 4 o'clock, drink a gallon of water a day, and use the Weight Watchers principles of counting points. Now, Weight Watchers is a huge sponsor of hers. She, I think a partner, she gets paid by Weight Watchers. So you got to keep that in mind. I had an awareness of weight loss medications, but I felt I had to prove I had the willpower to do it. I now no longer feel that way. Uh, she adds, I was actually recommending it to people long before I was on it myself, telling people to use these medications. Turning point was in a pharmaceutical aids herself where she taped a panel and she talked about, I had the biggest aha with many people in that audience, which posted, uh, I realized I'd been blaming myself all these years for being overweight. And I had a predisposition that no amount of willpower was going to control. Obesity is a disease. It's not about willpower. It's about the brain. And she says now she's released her own shame about it, consulted a doctor who went on to prescribe a weight loss medication. I now use it as I feel I need it as a tool to manage not yo-yoing. Um, she's not going to name a specific drug, of course, because she's not getting paid yet. And that would be dangerous if it's bad. The fact that there's a medically approved prescription for managing weight, staying healthier in my lifetime feels like a relief, redemption, a gift, not something to hide behind and once again be ridiculed for. I'm absolutely done with the shaming from other people and particularly myself. Now, look, typically I'd say, great, your body, your choice, you do what you want. But this is the Oprah <laughs> from not that long ago. Uh, this is from Thursday, September. This is two months ago, two months ago. But I guess she's been on it. She must have been using it for more than two months. Two months ago, while on it, she's seeming uh, allegedly on it. She admits she refused to take Ozempic and Wegovy for weight loss. That's the easy way out. Now, to be fair, she's not acknowledging that she's taking either of these. But I want you to hear this quote. Uh, the ideas of getting weight loss drug, just substitute any drug in there, guys. Refused to feel like it was taking the easy way out. 
Billionaires openly battle with decades for her weight, discuss the ongoing obesity, which affects 2 billion worldwide. Uh, during the panel, she said she had a few thoughts on the latest Hollywood trend, the FDA approved prescription medication, which again, it doesn't matter which drug you're using. She's not telling us which. She's speaking on behalf of all of them, in my opinion. Shouldn't we all just be more accepting of whatever body you choose to be in? That should be your choice. Even when I first started hearing about the weight loss drugs at the same time I was going through knee surgery and I felt like I've got to do this on my own because if I take the drug, that's the easy way out. Uh, someone who was shamed in the tabloids every 20, a week for 25 years for not having the willpower to work on her weight. She said it was demoralizing to see it become so popular. Uh, and then this doctor said, uh, BC is a chronic disease. So the word willpower, she doesn't use it for her patients. Um, it's hard to see you ostracized the way you've been because this isn't about willpower. It's not your fault. It's about how our bodies regulate weight and each of us is different. Each of us is unique. It's not one superior to the other. Look, here's what the doctor's doing to justify. This is months ago. But what's weird is Oprah does this a lot. She connects to some doctor that tells her what she wants to hear that she can then monetize and usually bring her on the show or help be a part of her plan. And she makes it part of the thing. And that's where I'm, I'm, I'm bothered here because as she's explaining this, basically saying it's an easy way out, she hasn't done it, which to me proves she's hypocritical. You can go even beyond that and you can see that, yes, her own company, Weight Watchers, offers prescription weight loss drugs. Yes, Weight Watchers offers prescription weight loss drugs and diabetes drugs like Ozempic. Winfrey hasn't been an, inter an investor in Weight Watchers and on its board since 2015. So that's, I, just so we're clear, she's not just getting paid. She's on the board. She's on the board. So I'm sorry, but I'm going to call you out, Oprah, for you doing this People Magazine cover, how amazing you look on the new weight loss drugs that you finally, aha, they fixed me. Do they, is it, how are the long-term effects? Is this really safe? All these questions. And how much are you profiting now? And are you going to eventually reveal what drug it is? This feels shady to me. And you per previously had been all about against it. But now you're done with the shaming because is Weight Watchers making money on this? Are you being honest, Oprah? I don't think she is, guys. That's my thought. And, and there's a few more instances I want to bring in. If you guys don't know about the beef between Monique from Precious and uh, Oprah, it's disturbing, man. She talked about how Oprah brought, you know, if you don't remember Monique from the film Pre Precious, won an Oscar, uh, she had a, her brother did the unthinkable to her. That's what I'm going to call it, okay? Oprah had the brother on. Now, apparently, Oprah got Monique's posi uh, permission, and uh, and she wanted to let her know that her parents can watch Predators. Monique responded, do you want to, she asked Monique if she wants to come on. He wants to apologize to you. I said, Oprah, I don't want no part of that. So she gave Winfrey her blessing to have the show, but then she was horrified to see other family members, her parents, other brothers, and another brother show up to downplay the ABUSC that she faced on the show. Oprah basically threw under the bus, brought in all of Monique's family to sort of just give them an outlet to give for forgiveness without her and have her family on to downplay it. Super shady. And so she talked to Oprah. She confronted Oprah on that issue. We're not on good terms, she said. Um, we don't even speaking. Then I see in the show and I can tell that my mother is trying to make a dollar. I know my family feeling betrayed. Uh, I reached out to everybody I could to try to get Oprah. Nothing. Just went dead. And then a, during an Oscar party, Alfre Woodard's home, Monique confronted Oprah. She took a seat next to her on the sofa. You know we're going to have a talk, right? And apparently, Lupita Nung, a lot of people were there watching this. And uh, Oprah was sitting on my right. And then I turned to her and I said, now I need to talk to you. There were some phenomenal black women there. You could have heard a pin drop. I said, since you don't want to return my calls for whatever reason, I'm going to say this right here. She asked why her estranged family was on the show. Winfrey alleged that she had only invited her eldest brother who showed up with the rest of the family in tow. Uh, Winfrey said, I'm going to look into your mother and father being on the show because I didn't know anything about that. <laughs> you interviewed him. Uh, Winfrey said something like, I've, I've done anything to offend you. I apologize. It wasn't enough for Monique. She still demands and expects a public apology from both Winfrey and Tyler Perry, who she says wrong. Now look, in this instance, Winfrey just ignored her, brought her family on to exploit her on the show because that's what Oprah does. The same woman who told Michael Jackson's family, oh, oh, Michael was the greatest. Michael bringed her up, gave her one of the first big interviews, brought her after Michael's death, talks to her, his mother, hitting their kids, Michael's kids. 
he she was the one they went to because the estate and everyone's like, you've been Michael and you have had a history. Come on in. And then what does Oprah do? Like a year later, believes two liars, two liars who are by a director who's famous fake documentary to exploit him after his death disgusting and it doesn't end there dude the the iceberg of oprah nonsense is huge i mean i could open up a million pictures of harvey and oprah together here's rose mcgowan calling out being as fake as they come a tweet that she wrote i'm glad more seeing the ugly truth of oprah i wish she were real but she isn't from being pals with weinstein to abandoning and destroying russell simmons victims she's about supporting a sick power structure for personal gain she's as fake as she come as they come hashtag lizard and then there was the whole maui fraud fr fraud nonsense why is a billionaire begging people for money at least the rock came out and apologized good on you Dwayne. oprah never did oprah was an annoyed and played victim we did a video about it. She played the victim. I am so sick of Oprah. I'm so sick of her cover stories. And I'm so sick of her lies. How much are you making on this new drug? What are you selling? Is Weight Watchers going to do this subtly? So you didn't endorse it. But oh, look at Oprah. And look at these pictures of Oprah. By the way, do you want to get on the new Weight Watchers drug on top of your plan? It's only $10 more. Blah, 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 blah. How much money are you making off of this? Is that how you got skinny again? Because you're making a ton of money. You can't afford to, to, to keep eating the way you used to. What is really going on? I'm not buying it personally. I'm curious what you guys think. And again, let's not forget <laughs> Meghan Markle's bestie spinning that whole racist hearsay for her own clicks and views and selling it all over the networks. What do you think, Oprah? Do you believe it? Are you starting to feel it? Have you always, when did you notice Oprah was a snake? I want to know that in the comments. In fact, put that in the comment. When did you first notice Oprah was a snake? Hit that bell for all alerts, smash that like button, and let me know down below. And again, hit that button because we got a lot more in store. I got some big stuff coming you're not going to miss, especially over the holidays, some exclusives that'll be dropping. So stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Planet.